Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Ragnarok here with episode 7 of my Mortal Empires High Elves Endgame campaign. Right, so let's just pick up where we left off. We're just uh, in the middle of this fight here with the with the Dark Elves. And we're going to take down Marathi next. Champion yeah. of the Ever Queen. I actually got one of these A guys just leveled Asur. up. Already on a great eagle. Oh, uh, what are we gonna give him? Uh, fuck it. Valor of the Ages. Sounds good. I await your command. Oh, let's get uh, let's get Iceman and Tyrion's army as well. Experience. Servant of the King. A couple more of these guys. Thor a worthy up. ally. Oh. Oops. Loyal to a fault. Uh, one more level and can get his eagle. He's a little bit. I'd prefer to have him on the eagle, though. I guess it's it's nice having them down there to uh, support Tyrion as well. Their skill is legend. Um, let's see. I do like having the extra speed. Princess All right, I think this next fight, I think Do we're not order going me. to lightning strike Marathi's army with uh, Marielle. Your words are you know, could lightning strike it with Tyrion, but I think Marielle's army will absolutely crush this. So the, the archer Phoenix support. I mean, Tyrion's army shouldn't have Do too much of a problem with me. it either. Ridiculous. And then the I will not. Your words are nothing. For the Ever Queen. Because they're not at full strength, or she's not at full strength. We shouldn't have too much of a problem here. And we're just gonna lightning strike. For Asurian. Might even be able to get away with auto resolving it, but I think we'll fight it. We'll take less damage. So the only only things that are really going to give us too much of a problem here are the, the big units, if we don't take them out, and, and Marathi. I think our Swordmasters will be able to take on these depleted units without too much trouble. Although the Bolt Throwers, we don't really have anything to, to respond to them necessarily. I mean, we could send her to deal with them. Actually, I'm just wondering if they're going to, because we're on the attack, and they, because they have artillery, they may not actually come at us. We might have to, we might have to do the attack here. So maybe sending Tyrion's army might have been a better idea. But some of the units are still a little bit damaged, so let's definitely gamble that. Yeah, we'll set up shop on this hill. This is nice here. Out. Are they going to come after us? It's just going to sit back there. I think they're moving. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. Looks like they're moving. Sort of. I don't know. I don't know Princess. that she's necessarily the one to be doing the bullet dodging. Maybe we can uh, send Wolf to investigate and see if they're actually going to... Why did they deploy behind this fucking thing here like this? But yeah, they actually they are moving. So maybe they will come at us. The gods will 
just leave him out front a little bit. If the bolt throwers showed, shoot at him, basically going to waste their, their ammo. Still getting used to uh, doing things that way, and I think I'm overcompensated a little bit there. Guys, gonna come out this way? There's their bolt throwers. Let's stand over here. Eagle claw, without fail. Try and pick off the dragons. Let me get into range. Definitely taking their sweet ass time coming around. The way that they deployed behind this thing is kind of. Looks like they're gonna end up coming at us in pieces, but it's almost as if they're moving in fucking slow motion. Back you up a little bit. Don't mind them shooting at him. Is there. Where are they. Going. Yeah, they're gonna have a hard time hitting him. Dance around a little bit. Almost in range of our bolt throwers. Take out the hydras or the the dragons first. There's four of them all together. Fuck is Marathi. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about her too. At once, forward. But I think that one actually hit. For winds of magic, not a ton. Without fail. What are they shooting at? Zero. All right, yeah. Let's take down the. Actually, no. Uh, I want to take down the dragon first. Ancestors. Down that thing. That wasn't bad. Gyran protects me. With Kadei. Princess of Alcor. By your will. It is done. That's all got. Acknowledged. For duty. See if we can shoot down that thing. She should be able to take this thing on on her own. She should be okay there too. Archers really need to focus fire on these fucking hydras. Dark shards. Where the hell did Marathi get to? Ah, uh, let's see where she is. have to win this fight as well. It's not necessary that we have to. Um, the army is in force march, so. Orders 
Yeah, they were just. This army is really depleted, so. Looks like they're getting their army lost. Alright. Here we go. Nothing too, uh, too difficult there. Just pop a heal on, on these two and. And then. End the battle. Going. Without fail, it will be done by Alario. Oh, one of these units took a lot of damage. Yeah. We go. Oh, well. for a Sodian. All right, there we go. Always count on Mariel to get the job done though. If this army was at full strength though, it been a little bit of a different story, I think. Yeah, I don't know, since the update this this sort of uh I don't, for whatever reason my, my computer stutters at the uh the end of battles here. Which uh, banner is that? All right, so two armies down, basically. But took out. Malekith and Marathi. We'll probably lightning strike the the smaller force there. Just quickly mop them up, and then we can safely combine our two armies against the final stack and just really crush them. A triumph for Ulfuan. I have need of slaves. They're replenishing this time. Protector of Ulfuan. Oh, they're cool. Well, that seems pretty good. By the gods! Right, let's quickly lightning strike these guys. Or I guess we don't even really need to lightning strike them. Rally to me, Asuri. All right, I'm gonna risk the auto resolve here. Victory for Asuri. Does seem to be a little bit more reliable. We don't need prisoners. Duty calls. Lately, than it was. You may approach. She's shield against the darkness. this battle. Shield against the darkness. Back. She's not, not within range. And damn it! We use up her movement there, running that other rejoice. army down. I serve the Phoenix King. Which means we've got to uh, put her in force march, march here. What? Why the fuck isn't she supporting? She can't move any closer. I'm waiting. A wise course. I don't get it. Why? Why isn't she? Like, I can't move her. Glory to the Kadai. Any closer? Lady of why the wouldn't Phoenix she be supporting in this fight? Champion of the Ever Queen. Oh! 
Withdraw. Using up Altarian's movement here. Um. Hmm. Alariel guides me. What if? Tyrion. Put her into the Protect settlement. We shall not rest. Put her in the settlement. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Awaiting she, orders. All right. She's no gonna be mercy. supporting this time. Oh yeah, Dios mio, that was that was a struggle, bloody struggle. Um, it's gonna take us a little while to get there set up here. There is glory to be won. But it'll be worth it. We'll get rid of this army. The archers deal with the hydras, I think. Dragons. Just try and get these guys healed really quickly. And then just get everybody set up quick. Just pretty much smash this army. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Reinforcements are coming in from over there, eh? That's. Right, well, at least they're over there. Everybody who is damaged. Is anybody over here? Direct me. For battle. All right. I don't know if I want to group everybody this time. I'm probably gonna want to group these guys quickly and get them set up. Just try and set up, kind of use this cliff face here. Do it for magic. All right, get started. Just use these guys as a distraction for now. Over here. We get everything organized. Orders received. Loyal. Orders received. It shall be done. Archers. Loyal. Azar, advance. It shall be done. Loyal. Um. So if you stand Azar, back here. It will be done. Guys lined up. Eagle Claw, we will obey without fail. Serve the king, archers. Orders received. Here is Moving. Get him We're out hoeing. front. All right, I think that's as organized as it's going to get. The Reaper with me. This is a really fucking interesting map here, that's for sure. I guess they're gonna play defensively, are they? I guess that kind of makes sense. Ufwan Mage. Just get us all pretty much healed there. Ooh, we've got another dragon. Done. Moving on. Dauntless. All right, let's go scout around. And actually, Tyrion, go back to the main group. Moving out. 
You guys can scout around. Direct me! Together! So we'll get over here and see if we can draw them over somehow. Whatever reason they want to play defensively. I like it when the AI is completely completely aggressive and they just come right at you and completely predictable. It's always nice. Mm. I don't know if I want to get you guys involved with these hydras here. It's hard to tell what else is back here too. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea. Let's just come back. if we can get them to follow us around, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. They seem like they want to be passive for whatever reason. Sword of the Tyrion should be fast enough to be able to... Tireless. Yeah, this map is very... Um, the terrain is rough. It's going to be kind of hard to... Um, Eagle Claw! Up a little bit. Can stay in behind. I'm actually gonna send this guy off the field just to make sure he doesn't um, doesn't get killed. And son of a bitch, let's get you out of there. What is that dragon doing back there? Come on, get out of there. With me. As you say, forward. Got him stuck Going in this forward. shit here. For my lady. Immediately. Get out of there. With me. Striking for. Moving Get out. out. We got over here. Noble lord. Ready and able. Advance onwards to victory. It's almost out. Moving All right. Out. See if they follow him. Noble. On me. Awaiting orders. One of these dragons is still not completely healed. Uh, yeah. All right, actually. All right. Let's cold ones. I love how fast Darian is. Fucking fantastic. No trouble catching these guys, and the dragons will mop them up. This guy got separated, so we'll just pick him off and take advantage of that. Yeah, these trees are basically shielding them from. Our, uh, our force here. I'm shielding up, shielding them from the the bolt throwers. What I meant. And okay, that was quick. Good job. This cliff face protects them as well from the bolt throwers. This is a really... I don't recall ever playing on this map. Though I, I guess that makes sense. I haven't <laughs> spent much time in Nagarond until, until now. So Yeah, we need our ranged units to draw them over here, I guess. Which we can't even see them really. Let's see if this guy can get their attention. So we could also move up here and um, move up here and and try and eliminate their their flying units. Come on, tell me they're gonna walk right into that. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That was alright. No. That didn't seem to do a ton of damage. Let's see if this dragon wants to tangle with us. Yeah, I'm just wary of sending the dragons up there because of the ranged units. As one. Moving out. Quickly now. As one. I'm sure they'll be fine. Plus, we don't really have another threat in the area after this fight. So we'll have time to recover, as long as we don't lose anybody, anybody completely. They're bolt thrower fucking shooting at us. Oh, now they're coming. Now they're on the move. Perfect. It's all fucking cluster fucked. Dark shards and some Noble. couple nobles in behind. Deal with the bolt thrower, I guess. These guys are taking some damage here. Archers. Shoot down the fucking dragon. Wins. Right over here, I'm making a real fine mess of things. As for fucking usual, uh, you guys need to get out of here. Had enough. Just want this fight to be over. You guys, get over here and help out. It shall be done. I can have. Asor, Lord Master. Just finish these fuckers off. On me, together. See you. This guy might have to get out. You have too. Another 
Pearl. Where is our fucking mage? Need to get over here. Right away. Heal some of these guys. Thank goodness these guys are retreating. Alright. Whew. That was bloody well close. I think we oh, came very close to losing some heroes there. Yeah, I just, I really, really struggle fighting these large battles, especially with all these different fucking unit types. Anyway, I'm not going to bother healing here because I just don't want to clean up this fucking mess. I just want to get out of this. We'll have time to replenish here after this. We just came very close to losing this guy. We do need two more units in this army. Most likely they'll end up being nobles. Two more nobles. Maybe we could put two more dragons in there, but... I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm gonna blame that one on the terrain. Terrain was was a little bit difficult to navigate. A nice open battlefield there, we would have been able to really crush them, I think. But... The Azure have triumphed. Enslave them. Cash. Wisdom. Decent is amount of money. Mine. All right, good, 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 good. Let's see if we can get rid of this How agent here. Pathetic. Servant of the king. Ninety-two percent chance. Dark. Good, 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 good. Their skill is legend. Uh, Wound maker action. Nice. We'll get him back in the army in a minute. The or I serve the Phoenix King. Yeah, I'm not sure which army we should. A promising lieutenant. We should have in the settlement for the extra replenishment, but let's give you a hard to hit, and then probably last couple points will go into blade shield. Ever loyal. Just keep these guys together for now. Right, yeah, so we can retake these settlements. Princess of the Azure. And I don't know that I want I feel like she can take on either of these armies individually. Servant of the tower. Ah, uh, Wolfenstein is back. A worthy ally. Hmm. Let's go with Valor of the Ages. The of trouble. Looks like they're going Never. for Protector of old form. the Red Desert. What do we got for defenses here? It's a pretty stout garrison. No, no. That's a considerable force. Knowledge awaits. You called? Really wish we had some regiments of renown right now. Hire a general and pop him in there you and just uh, grab a bunch order. of regiments of renown. Never. Probably be able to defend it. It's just annoying that we've got to go back, come back around this way to retake this. And we've invested in here too. Send her around this way. Or come over up this way. Ill considered. I mean, we could defend against one army here, but two armies? No, I don't think so. I've also got this guy here. I don't like her back here by herself, unfortunately. Guardian of the Phoenix so the situation crack. that happened here with Kalidor. It's just Your her path. back here. She doesn't have... If she hand. had lightning strike, she just needs to level up one more time and we can give her lightning strike. It would make the world of difference against these armies, but... 
kind of range does he have? Princess right. of the Asso. Let's just move On you to way. there. I mean, if they get stuck in the, if we can get them in the settlement, we can really. This army will shred anything in the settlement. It'll be a very easy battle. Out in the field, it'll be a lot more difficult to take on these Level. two. Individually, confident she can take on one of them. Orders. Ready to attack. Put her in ambush just to hide from them. I await your anyway, command. Start securing this province. We've got Kirk coming over here too, right? How can I assist you? Yeah. Just use him as, as sort of garrison and by the time this army is ready I feel like the war is going to be over pretty much with the Dark Elves, unfortunately. But we'll see, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be ready in time. Who fucking knows. Alright, we wanted public order here. We want this upgraded so we can get that special building. And yeah, public order minus five. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be able to wrestle it under control or under control before we get a rebellion. Should be okay. Ah, oh, man. I gathered all that influence for Ragnar and got him killed right away. Time Fucking ridiculous. So much wasted info. There's been so much wasted influence in this campaign. It's just fucking like... Defender of the ah, Dios mio. Well, why the hell... Does it keep saying it'll be available on the next turn? What's up with that? Holy shit, public order plus 10, eh? Ammunition 50% for siege defenses, that's, that's alright. Local armies, that's it. Uh, interesting. We've got a resource here, we've got some marble, that's always good. But I think we need to get growth going here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Ah, fuck. Actually, yeah, we do need to get the growth here because there's no point in, in building this until we can get it to level 3, and it's just gonna take forever to get the growth. Let's just get the growth going to get this to level 3 as quickly as possible. Oh wait. Turns until... actually... no. Let's go with this. It's only two turns till we get the surplus. And then we can go to level 3. Alright, that's perfect. And then yeah, we'll, we'll build another navy here. Even though... I don't know how necessary it's going to be. Well, coming in here actually definitely be helpful to have the navy to clear this mess out a little bit. Alright, so we've got this guy. He needs to be dealt with still. Hopefully we can get these troops in the field in time. How are we doing with the dwarves? I think I checked this last episode. An ad. All right, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I mean, I'm sure I probably am. Very well. But yeah, I was really hoping that they'd end up recruiting the Ever Queen now that the we've got the update loaded in here, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. Anyway, let's just quickly go through these. Uh... I hear the Kadaif, Mage of the White Tower. Okay, we can. No, I don't want assault units. No. There we go. Smash it to ruins! Oh my gosh, that's three times in a row you failed. 
Asur Loremaster. Ridiculous. Uh, Wolfenstein. You don't really have any. Let's. Twenty-three percent. Dark-hearted fools. What Never. level is this? Uh, Never. Level forty. That's why. Um, you seek a relation. Yeah, let's. Forget. I guess. Yeah, let's just bring you back down. Let's bring you back down to here, and you'll you will back into go into this army when it is ready. I am really actually eager to actually now get these these sisters of Avalorn in, into the field and see them see them in action. Rodir, setting a course. Since Tyrion's army is not at full strength, I mean, I guess we might as well put you in Tyrion's army. Oh, shit. Protect that is... How did I fucking do that? Anyway, that's fine. We'll just Shield put alarm. Tyrion in there instead. I, uh... Yeah, we'll put Rodair in Tyrion's army, Son I guess. Of the king. All right. Research available. Yeah, we pretty much got everything that we wanted. Yeah, let's go with Elite Champions. Ooh, actually no. I'm getting some of these in the field, so fuck it. Let's get that. Ooh, word of low. Although, mm, how are the defenses here? Order Not must great. be maintained. All right, we'll risk it. Leave that damage for now. Not too what worried about it. Me? Speak. Yeah, those can stay damaged. End of turn. Alright, cool. Let's see how this fight turns out. Between the Dark Elves and the, the Warriors of Chaos in the Siege of Nagarond. Pick up right where we left off. So, come back and fight me, which Dark Hand's voice threaded upwards through the contrails of magical fire and were echoed back down at him by a mocking male voice that sounded not unlike the voice which had echoed in Kruth's head. He shuddered involuntarily as it called, Come back and fight me, witch. The laughter grew louder and louder until moments later, Valkia plunged down through the skies, her scream increasing in pitch and volume as she descended on Curran Darkhand. Slapner held before her like a bloody lance. Kruth could see the outcome in his mind's eye, and in that moment, he saw his chance. Ambition, bloodlust, and the influence of the daemon twisted in his mind. It choked what hold on the present he might have had and blinded him with a glorious future. He could do what so many others had tried and failed to do. The captain was wholly focused on Valkia, his eyes turned upward to the descending daemon. If Kruth struck quickly, he could do it. Then, when the siege was in inevitably, inevitably broken, he would kneel before the Witch King and claim Darkhand's power for his own. He could do it. Kruth stabbed another beastman that had made its way over the wall, barged the warrior's side, and ducked beneath the grasping pseudopods of the shapeless thing that had reached the Im Imbrasers. He, he would kill Darkhand. He would kill Valkia. He would kill everyone who stood between him and what he knew with absolute certainty was his birthright. He would be the new captain of the Black Guard, and it would become a legend. Glory, riches, fame, respect, all, the th all of these things beckoned him, though he heard nothing but the pounding of the blood through his veins as he prepared to kill his commander. His moment of self-absorption did not last long. His course towards the battling pair took him past the closest sentry tower, one of hundreds that rose at intervals along the wall's vast length. There, there was a res resonant boom, louder than the crack of lightning, and the roar of battle shook the earth. 
faster than his mind could comprehend and faster still than his reflexes could work against. The wall exploded, flattening the surrounding warriors with hunks of black stone and sending the structure plunging into the moat of fire. A great cheer went up from the horde as the wreckage formed a dusty bridge across the sorcerer's flames. Then something struck the wall beneath Kruth and his world turned into a jumble of sky and flying rock. There was no time to consider the implications of what had happened because a flood slick obsidian surface rushed up to meet him. Within seconds, Kruth's ambitions were as crushed and broken as his body. He died in terrible agony, his dream unrealized. All right, I'm going to stop there for a little while, guys, and just uh, watch the enter. And that's the, the, the end of the, the little bit of section. And... Yeah, so unfortunate, Kruth. Uh, I, I really thought we were going to get to know this guy. We were, he's going to be around for a while. But, uh, yeah, he just bit it. But, uh, I mean, that's what happens in, in these sort of fantasy worlds. Every fantasy world that I've ever, you know, read, whether it's, uh, you know, the, these Warhammer novels, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons novels, I've read some of those. Um, what else is there? there I, I mean, there's tons of fantasy stuff. I mean, um, the the mainstream stuff, the Game of Thrones. Um, all of them are incredibly violent worlds. I guess it's a, a reflection of our own violent world. But, um, I mean, we don't always see that on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, for some of us, anyway. Well, for the lucky ones, anyway. We, we don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. The living in one of these fantasy worlds, it just seems like everybody death is just around the corner for everyone. It's just completely violent and terrifying sort of world to live in. But yeah, like I just said, I, I guess at the same time it is in a lot of ways a reflection of our own world, sadly. Mm. No, leave Musalon alone, man. Why? Why? Ah, this fucking guy. Yeah, we got another one, and this one is growing too. Yeah, we we definitely need to get these troops over here quickly and and into the field to deal with this uh, this chaos situation. All right, we've got a little bit more than 10 minutes left, so I'll try and push through a little bit here. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, man, I really don't want an unhappy poppy list. really do not. I think we'll pay him off. I think that's the best. Income from trade. Income from trade would actually be quite substantial, but we'll boost the income quite a bit. 25%. All right, well, we're making quite a bit from trade, but I, I think we're going to pay him off just because I want that influence. And I, yeah, sorry, I didn't feel like reading the thing. I'm pretty sure we've read it before. Actually, we're, uh, all right, this guy's over here. What do we got here with this situation? What do you require? What are your odds against her? 19%. Not very good. I just want to scout what out news? and see what the hell is going Ali, on over here. Where the hell did that other army once. go? Moving out. I know the way. Got an army here. Short sight. Yeah, I'm just gonna push through the last ten minutes of the episode here and just you see cold? what we can get done. Damn it, she's just out of range. Ridiculous. Hmm. Definitely not. What in the hell? How did you get to there? Oh, and of it's course. Um, uh, actually, maybe she can reach there. For the Ever Queen. Need to deal with that. Tyrion, we're gonna send you. Uh, of course, she can't fucking reach it. That's attack. really annoying. Alright, fuck it. Love Tyrion Joe. We'll keep these two armies together for now. And come back around By to clear the ground. Uh, we can actually. There is glory to be won. Just gonna encircle there. I'm just gonna do a little bit more housekeeping. If there's not another battle, I'll just end the episode on that. 
most likely. Awaiting orders. Let's get you Setting the pace. over this way. Noble ball. Let's get you into Tyrion's army. I'll share my experience. Get you back in there. Awaiting How are we doing with our what recruitment news? down here? Almost got those dragon princes. All right, so what's gonna be Fear next for this army? It's a discount for a worthy ally. For archer, spearman, loather, sea guard, and bolt thrower units. I guess that doesn't count for these archers, missile infantry, sisters of Avalorn, where. Yeah, just archers. All right, fuck whatever. Uh, we're gonna get him some bolt throwers this time around. Get some bolt throwers and we need some infantry. We can get him back in the field a lot quicker if we just went with uh, these bad boys. I mean, obviously they're not as good, but getting them into the field quicker might be better. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, I'm gonna get Wolf back in here too. Or sorry, Wolfenstein. Kind of difference in. Yeah, it's gonna take way longer to get those fuckers. And I just wanna get the numbers up, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that'll have to do. Four turns. Four more turns and. We'll have him back in the... We'll have Kalidor the second in the field, and we'll have Your a little bit of a different flavor army, I guess. Alright, Kirk. Ooh, public orders. Taking a nosedive here. One turn... Oh, we still got plenty of time, though. Lethal grace given form. Lord of Oathwork. Guess we can bring our navy up here onto the ground. General ready yet? Three more turns, mother fucker. That's ridiculous. It's taking her a while to get out of the jungle, I guess. Um hmm. Command me. Prince of Elfland. Yeah, right. This is not a great. Well, might as well get some more of these fucking swords. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we'll we'll just ah man, it's taking too long. Let's recruit two full the stacks here. Bid you welcome. I, I don't know what's up with this. If any, anyone knows what's up with this, why no characters are available here, the, the handmaiden. Do we have to build more of these fucking things? But uh, every turn it says there's none available. I really wouldn't mind having a couple of them in this situation. I'd be able to help us out a bit. 
I don't know. Anyway, guys, I am starting to get a little bit tired, so I think I am going to end the episode and probably take a bit of a break. I just recorded the last three or four episodes in a row. By Asurian. Just auto resolve this and. Bring me battle! Ooh, took a little bit of damage there. Search yeah, this we'll place. just occupy this time around. And yeah, I think we'll end the episode there. Take a little bit of time, figure out what it is I want to do next. And, I mean, obviously, we're going to continue pushing on Nagaroth towards the capital. I'm not sure where we're going to bring this guy. I guess we could bring him up around this way. Size army is. Yeah, this fleet. I feel like we'll. In an auto resolve situation, unless we've got an ally nearby, we'll need two fleets to take that out. But maybe he'll be able to deal with it for us. But yeah, we'll just keep pushing against Nagaron and just we'll be careful here with uh, with Freya. Get her into range. There was another army here. I don't know where it got to, but these motherfuckers are recruiting again. So just gotta be careful of that. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling as usual. Thank you for watching. Episode number number eight, I think, is is up next. Things are, you know, a little bit shaky, but the the things are definitely under control. Uh, that's for sure. And this campaign shouldn't go for too much longer, though. I, I don't know how much how much of this the dwarves have, and how much some is held by some of the other factions. But we'll we'll figure that out in time once we've gotten rid of chaos and once we've gotten rid of the Dark Elves, but the Dark Elves are definitely on their last legs. We're pushing them into the corner of the, corner of the map here. Alright, have a great day. Ragnarok out.